Let us solve the following system of inequality. We'll begin with the first one. We have 2x plus 6. So this is greater than or equals to 0. What we'll do, we'll subtract 6 from both sides. So we have 0 minus 6. This gives us 2x is greater than or equals to negative 6. Now we want to make the coefficient of x positive 1. To do that, we'll have to divide uh, throughout by 2. But before doing that, we'll have to make use of the property of inequalities. That means if we have two numbers, a and b, and suppose a is greater than or equals to b, and we have another number c, which is a positive number that is greater than 0, then if we divide a by this value c and also b with the same value c, then the inequality is not going to change. That means a over c is going to be greater than or equals to b over c. So in our case, we're going to divide both sides with 2. And this gives x greater than or equals to negative 3. So let's call it equation number in equation number 1. Now coming to the second inequation, we have 4x minus 7 less than 0. So that means we have 4x less than 7 or x less than 7 over 4. So here again, we have used the same property. We're dividing both sides with positive 4. So that does not affect the uh, sign of the inequality. So this is number 2. Now what we'll do on the number line, we will consider the point x equals to negative 3 and the other one as x equals to 7 over so x greater than or equals to negative 3 means we'll have to consider all the values of x which is greater than negative 3. That means the solution of x is going to lie to the right of x equals to negative 3 and it's going to be included. So I put a dot here and it is going to extend all the way up to positive infinity. And the second inequality says that we have to consider all the values of x which is less than 7 over 4. So that means we'll have to consider all the values of x which is lying to the left of 7 over 4 and extending all the way up to negative infinity. Here I put a bubble, which means that x equals to 7 over 4 is not a part of the solution. Now when we look at our number line, we see our common region, that this is the region where both of the uh, x less than uh, greater than negative 3 and x less than 7 over 4 have a common solution. So if we write this in our interval form, then we have negative 3 going to 7 over 4. So 7 over 4 is not a part of the solution, so we'll use an open interval. Whereas x equals to negative 3 is a part of the solution, we'll use a closed interval. So this is a solution to our system of linear inequality.